Good day. Here we have two things that are being added by polar form. No matter if it's in polar form or exponential form, the only way to add these is when they're in rectangular form. So let's put these in rectangular form first. So we would say 9.1 cosine 50 plus j sine 50 plus 6.1 cosine 100 plus j sine 100. And now we're going to multiply these out by saying 9.1 times cosine 50 to give me 5.8. 9.1 times j sine 50 to give me 6.97j plus 6.1 times cosine of 100, negative, 0 point, sorry, negative 1.06 and 6.1 times sine 100 to give me 6.01j. Now we're going to add like terms. So we're going to add the a terms, uh, 5.85 plus negative 1.06 to give me 4.79. Then we're going to add our two j terms together to give me a total of 11.86j. So this right here that I'm circling is my rectangular form for these two things here in polar. Now, in order to put this back into polar form, I have to again draw this out. So I draw this out and I notice that it becomes in the first quadrant. Here's my A term. Here's my B term. And there's my theta. So when theta is in the first quadrant, you don't have to add or subtract 180 or 360. The angle is the angle beneath for polar. To find R, we say 11.86 squared plus 4.79 squared square root. That's Pythagoras' theorem. This gives me an answer of 12.79. To find the angle, I go tan theta opposite over adjacent. And theta gives me 68.01 degrees. So in polar form, our answer is going to be 12.79, 68.01 degrees.